What's good family? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am very excited to bring you guys a video. I'm very excited to make this video. Today, we're doing a different style of video. And as you can see by my laptop screen, we're going to be ranking the 90s rap albums. Um, I believe there's about 30 to 50 albums listed below. And I'm going to be doing my best job to rank each of these albums S through F. So this is not going to be easy by any stretch of imagination. So this is going to be very hard. This is all opinion based too. I want to state that right before we start this video. So I don't want to get anybody's feelings hurt. You know, don't get your feelings involved in this. You know, this is all this is all subjective. You know, everybody listens to music differently. Everybody rates music differently. Um, so yeah, this is all opinion based. And keep in mind, there might be a few albums listed below that I have not yet heard yet. So to those albums, I will be putting it in the question mark section. So yeah, I'm very excited to make this video. Shout out to whoever made this tier list. I wish it was able to say who made it, but it doesn't say who made it. But if this looks like yours, um, thank you for creating this. Much appreciated. I hope you don't mind me using it inside of my video. And yeah, let's not waste any time. I really wanted to make this video because, you know, I like switching things up. You know, I want to be creative. I want to try to make different style of videos, see what works, see what doesn't, see what clicks with the people, see what doesn't click with my audience. So, you know, just experimenting, trying different things every day. Let's not continue to talk. Let's continue. Well, let's start ranking these albums. So, yeah, let's go right ahead. And first album we have here is the Slim Shady LP. I believe this is the Slim Shady LP. I believe this is probably Eminem, one of Eminem's first albums. Now, I will admit I have not heard this album, so I can't even rank it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this album right over here. Now, on, again, we have another Eminem album. Now, like I said, um... I have not listened to this album. I don't, I don't even recognize this album cover, if I'm being honest. that this, this doesn't even look like a legit album cover from Eminem. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two right off the bat in the question mark section. Uh, nothing against Eminem at all. Uh, I have nothing against him. I have nothing against his catalog. I have nothing against him as a person. Uh, I just haven't really got around to listening to any of his music. That's on me. I got to catch up. I got to listen to the music. Anyway, next we have Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. Now, this was an album that when I first listened to it, I didn't really enjoy it. But the more and more I listened to it, the more and more I enjoyed it, the more and more I was able to understand it, the more I was able to... Uh, recognize the difference in each member's unique style and flow because when you first listen to wu-tang you don't know who's who you don't know who you know like it, you're just lost because you don't know who's who you don't know what they're rapping about you don't know what's going on like it's, it's very confusing when you first start off but after a couple of listens i will say that album's pretty good i'm gonna have to go ahead and give that album an a an A. That's an A tier album to me. It might even be S tier album, to be honest. It could it could very well be S tier. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put an S tier. Next album we have, I don't know who this is. This looks like an Ice Cube or Easy E album. Um I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to go ahead and put that in the question mark section. Another album that I haven't listened to yet, Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet. That is another album that I have yet to listen to. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the question mark section as well. Next album we have is People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm. Now, this is A Tribe Called Quest's first studio album um, that I believe it came out in 1990. This is the album with uh, Footprints, Bonita Applebaum, Can I Kick It? Eggs and Ham, uh, Green Eggs and Ham, 
uh, Mr. Muhammad, um, uh, Pubic Enemy, um, yeah, so there's a lot of good songs on this album, um, I like this album, I, you know, I'm surprised, because for any, of the, for any of you guys that have streaming platforms, uh, most specifically Apple Music, when you look up A Tribe Called Quest, for some reason, this album is just not an essential album, I, I don't know why, it beats me, but I feel like it deserves to be an essential album. I feel like this is one of their essential albums. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this album A tier. A tier. Yeah, why not? And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've already seen... Six. I've already seen all six of these albums beforehand as I was ranking this album right here. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have not listened to any of these albums. Uh, yeah. Shame on me. I know that's LL Cool J. I'm not sure. That's MC Hammer. Right? Right? That's MC Hammer. I don't know who that is. I know this is Ice Cube, Lethal Injection, NWA. I uh, haven't listened to that. Tupacalypse now. Haven't listened to that either. Which brings us back to another... Before I go further, I apologize. I know this is me ranking 90s albums, and so far I only know two of the 30 albums that I've ranked so far. So I should have chose the better one to rank, but hey, we're already doing this video, so why not continue? Which brings us to the next Tribe Called Quest album, their sophomore album, uh, The Low End Theory. Now, this album I really enjoy. This album is no skips for me. Uh, it's got songs like Scenario, Check the Rhyme. Um, it's been a while since I've heard Check the Rhyme. Uh, We've Got the Jazz. Um, what else is on there? Butter. Uh, what else is on there? Scenario. I've already said Scenario. What else is on that album? Damn. Now it's beat. Now it's annoying me. What else is on that album? Uh oh oh, vibe and things. Let's see what else is on that album. Now I'm cheating. Exer excursions, bugging out, rap promoter, verses from the abstract, show business, vibes and stuff, infamous date rape. Everything is fair. Sky Pager, what? I mean, this is a good album. This is a good album. I'm going to go ahead and rank it A tier. This is an another A tier album for me. Which brings us to the next album, Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Now, I'm very upset because they took this album off of streaming platforms. You can no longer listen to it on Apple Music or Spotify. So I'm very bummed out about that. Um, but, you know, despite that, still a good album. Uh, it's one of those albums where you have to listen to it a couple more, like uh, at least like four or five times in order to really uh, soak in everything. Because it's a lot production wise, it's it's just everywhere. Dr. Dre has a lot of skits throughout the album. Um, you know, he, he's always <laughs> there's there's literally a skit on the album where he's literally just having sex with a woman, you know role playing as a doctor um so yeah i mean it's a funny album it's his first album so yeah man why not i'm gonna give it another a tier this is another a tier album to me you know what i'm gonna just throw it in s tier it's an s tier album it's a classic album uh a very influential album out in the west coast so yeah i'm gonna put it s tier uh next album i have not listened to this ice cube album so I'm not able to rank it. Nor have I listened to this Beastie Boys album. I apologize. I'm sleeping on a lot of these albums. I got to catch up on most, most of these songs. I got a lot of 90s artists that I got to catch up on. So yeah, that brings us to the next Tribe Called Quest album. Which is their third album called Midnight Marauders. Now this is my personal favorite Tribe Called Quest album. This is the best Tribe Called Quest album. It's got songs like um, uh, Electric Relaxation, 
a war tour um sucker brother um i'm trying to think what else it's got uh oh my god um what else it's got uh, the 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 fife dog solo i forget what that song's called now i want to check the track list um midnight what else does it have uh Steve Biko, 8 Million Stories, uh, We Can Get Down, Keep It Rolling, Lyrics To Go, God Lives Through. Yeah, this is a good album. This is my favorite Tarp Called Quest album, so I'm going to have to go ahead and put this in S tier. Um, yeah, honestly, between these three albums, you really can't go wrong. You know, if you're going to ask anybody, any Tribe Called Quest fan what their favorite album is the answer is going to be either one of these three albums so you really can't go wrong it's all opinion based but in my eyes in my personal opinion this is the masterpiece right here midnight marauders that is their best album that is their best work um so yeah which brings us to the next album which is snoop dogg doggy style i've heard this album before uh, this is another one of those albums where they took off of streaming platforms so you can no longer listen to it on Apple Music or Spotify. A shame. A big shame. Um, this is an album that I gotta find on vinyl now. Um, this album has songs like Gin and Juice. Uh, songs like... Um, what is that song talking about when he sold his soul? I'm gonna be looking at the track list a lot through this in this video because it's it's hard for me to um to know what the name of a song is called. I mostly know the song by the lyrics and the beat. Uh, so it's got the Shiznits, "Murder Was the Case." That was a song that I was trying to think of. Uh, from my brothers and bitches, um, "Pump Pump," "Lodi Dodi," "Serial Killer." G's and Hustlers, you know, there's a good, there's a good selection of songs on this album. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it an A tier ranking. Uh, just my personal opinion. Uh, this is an album that I have to listen to more. I've only listened to it a handful of times. Um, of course, I know the most popular tracks, Murder Was the Case and uh, Gin and Juice, but next album we got is Tupac. I think this is uh, which Tupac album is this? I forget what it's called, guys. I'm not a big Tupac guy. I do like Tupac. Don't get me wrong. Um, there is a lot of his music that I like. A lot of classic albums he ha that he has. Um, but I just never really listened to like a full length project by Tupac. So yeah, this album is uh, strictly for my brothers. Um, and this has Keep Your Head Up and I Get Around. I'm going to go ahead and give it uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it, a, give it a B. Give it a B. Give it a B. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it, but it's a good album. Next album we got is Nas Illmatic. Next album we got is Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die. I mean, come on, that's just pretty easy, pretty easy. I mean, do I need to? Do I really need to explain why I just put those two albums in S tier? Those are just two of the most classic New York boom bap '90s hip hop albums. Both came out in 1994. Both put New York on the map. I mean, New York was on the map beforehand, but rejuvenated New York brought the attention back to new york not like the attention ever left new york but you know what i'm trying to say it made people know hey new york is here there's always artists coming out of new york there's hot artists coming out of new york and hip-hop lives and breathes and it runs through new york those two albums is what it did for new york in the early 90s so next album we have I haven't listened to this, so I can't really rank it. Leaves us with this Tupac, uh, Tupac album, which I have listened to, and it is Me Against the World. And I do like this Tupac album. This is probably one of one of my favorite Tupac albums. I'm going to have to put this in B ranking. 
Um, yeah, it's not a bad album, but it's not the best Tupac album, in my opinion. Um, it's got songs like Tears, um, I think Hey Mama, Me Against the World, uh, I think Me and My Girlfriend are on that album too. I gotta look again. It's been a while since I've heard that album, so I gotta check again. I know such Shed So Many Tears, Me Against the World, Temptations, Dear Mama, Heavy in the Game, Lord Knows, Old School, Death Around the Corner. That's another one that I was trying to think of. So yeah, this is a good album to me. So I'm going to just leave it in B. Uh, you can feel however you want to feel about that. Uh, which brings us to this next album, The Infamous by Mob Deep. This is Mob Deep's second studio album their best studio album and their most famous studio album this song or this song this album has the songs shook ones part two which was featured in the eight mile movie um and in the 2k18 soundtrack um it has songs like survival of the fittest eye for an eye uh cradle to the grave um give up the goods um, drink away the pain. A uh, lot of good songs on this album. A lot of good. It's it's a ten out of ten for me. It's a ten out of ten album for me. There's no skips on that album for me. Me personally. So I'm gonna have to give it an S tier. Uh, Lifestyle of the poor and dangerous. Big L. Another B tier album. B tier. B tier album. Not the greatest, not not the best album, in my opinion. Um, why you may ask? Because although it is very, it, it's it's filled with a lot of lyricism. It's filled with a lot of storytelling, metaphors, punchlines. That's great. But what I'm looking for in an, a good album is uh, not a concept, not necessarily a concept, but a meaning, good production good storytelling and it just needs to all come together to, to to serve one beautiful purpose and i'm not saying this album doesn't but it's not the best album and it's not the worst so it's going on to b tier next album this was the tupac album that i'm looking for this is the masterpiece in my opinion all eyes on all eyes on me by tupac that will be ranked s tier um no need to explain. It's his last album he came out with before he died. It came out in 1996. It came out in February 1996. A couple of months or like six or seven months before he passed away. This album has the songs uh, Picture Me Rolling. It has Ambitions as a Rider. It has uh, Two of America's Most Wanted. It has the one song featuring Method Man. It has um, uh, Heaven Ain't Hard to Find. It has uh, the song with Nate Dogg. Um, Everywhere the city it go. I, don't know. I see the same hoes. That song. Um, it has Scandalous. It has um, All About You. Um... A lot of good songs on this album. I just list, I just named like seven or eight songs right there, right off the top of my head. So, yeah, that's an S tier album, no question about it. Next album we have is Jay Z's debut album. It came out in 1996. Uh, Reasonable doubt. This was, um, I believe it came out. Yeah, 96. This is probably in my top three Jay Z albums. My top three Jay-Z albums is Blueprint, The Black Album, and Reasonable Doubt. In that order. Uh, actually, no. Flip Blueprint and The Black Album. Flip-flop those two. So it goes Blueprint, Black Album, and The Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt is not a bad album at all. But it's not the best Jay-Z album, in my opinion. In my opinion. It has great production. It has great bars, great metaphors, great flows. It really showcases who Jay Z is. It really, uh, you know, put Jay Z on the map. You know, it really, it really 
put Jay-Z apart from his peers. You know, people stop looking at Jay-Z as, you know, Jad O's, such and such. People stop looking at Jay-Z as the Hawaiian Sophie fame. You know, people stop looking at Jay-Z as Big E's sidekick. Like, people started taking Jay-Z serious when this album came out. And I understand the impact that it made for his career. And I, not only that, but I understand the impact that it made for New York hip-hop. So, it's a very, very special Jay-Z album. Very important Jay-Z album. Very important hip-hop album from New York. So, I'm going to have to give that an A tier. I know I was talking it up. I was making it seem like such a special thing. All that just to put in an A tier. But hey, I mean, it's not a bad album by any means. But it's just not the greatest Jay-Z album. If the blueprint was on here, I would probably put that in S tier. But Reasonable Doubt, A tier. Next album, it was written S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. No doubt about it. Um, I've said this in one of my previous videos. It was written as probably better than Illmatic for a couple of reasons. In my opinion, I think it was written showcased more of Nas's rapping ability. It showed uh, his storytelling ability. Uh, you know, his 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 he was more lyrical. I had more depth to it. It had more artistic interpretation in it. Um, you know, there were songs, there was a song on that album where he rapped from a perspective of a gun. You know, I just, I, I don't know, I, I love this album. And I'm not saying I don't like Illmatic, because Illmatic is amazing too, but it was written, it's just, lyrically, it's just on a whole different level. Like, Illmatic is mostly radio hits, you know, him producing with other him producing him collaborating with other producers and it was kind of like an album to just showcase Nas put Nas on the map and and for people to take Nas serious as a mainstream rapper mainstream rapper but it was written as more like a a raw authentic storytelling street scriptures you know, me speaking from the heart. Like, that's what it was written felt like to me. So, I don't want to continue to babble. Uh, spending too much time talking about that. Next album we have is Mob Deep. Mob Deep, the infamous um, Hell on Earth. Um, this album came out in 1996. This is Mob Deep's third album, I believe. Um, this has songs like uh, Give It Up Fast. Uh... Nighttime Vultures, Drop a Gem on Them, it has songs like uh, uh, Get Dealt With, what else is on that album, um, Still Shining, what else is on that album, um, Extortion, uh, what else is on that album, let's see. Mob Deep, Hell on Earth, Hell on Earth, um, Bloodsport, More Trife Life, Man Down, Can't Get Enough of It, God Part 3, uh, Apostles Warning. So yeah, this is a good album. Not Mob's Deep's best album, but it's a good album. It's a good album. So I'm going to have to put it in B tier. Um, yeah, B tier. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Next album we have is The Dogfather. Now, I haven't listened to this album, so I can't rank it. Next album we have is Life After Death. Mm, I'm going to have to put that C tier. The reason why I put a C tier is because I felt like that album just had a lot of filler tracks. A lot of tracks where I felt like Biggie himself wouldn't even put it on his album. So that's the reason why I give it a C tier. Not a bad album. There's still good songs that you can find on that album, but not his best work by any means. Next album we got is Wu Tank Forever. Now I have this album on vinyl. You've probably seen it in the background of a couple of my videos. That picture that you see right there is inside of the vinyl sleeve. So yeah, I like this album. It's a double side album. It's got songs like Triumph, um, uh, Dog Shit, <laughs> uh, what's, uh, what's it called, uh, Heaven's Sake, 
um, it's got uh, visions, uh, it's got um, uh, it's yours, uh, black shampoo, uh, hell's wind staff. These are just songs that I'm naming off the top of my head. Of course, there's a lot more songs on that album, but it's a good album. It's not Wu Tang's best album, but it's a good album. It's a very popular album too. Um, here in the United States, when Wu Tang's first album dropped, their debut album, Thirty Six Chambers, that album blew up here. But Wu Tang Forever, that album blew up in the United Kingdom. It was very popular in the United Kingdom. Uh, people loved it out there. So it's a very popular album. I might have to put it. I'm gonna have to put it. Uh, let's put a B tier. I'm gonna put a B tier. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that B tier. Next album we have is Jay Z Volume One. Um, I forget what what is it called Volume One. What is Volume One called? Uh, Jay Z. In my lifetime. All right. So I've listened to this album before. It's pretty forgettable, I'm not gonna lie. Not in a sense that like it's not in a sense that like it's bad, but it's just kind of boring. Um There's good songs on this album, don't get me wrong. It's got songs like uh what's it called? Uh what's that song called? Man, I love that song. What is it called? Dun 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 What is that song? Uh, oh, 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 imaginary players, imaginary players, it's got, uh, where I'm from, uh, what else does it have, those are pretty much the only two songs that I remember, uh, the intro, a million and one questions, imaginary players, friend or foe, uh, where I'm from, rap game, crack game, it's got a couple good songs on here, but the whole album in itself is not really that good in my opinion i don't know if any jay-z fans will be offended by that but it's just not my favorite um so yeah i'm about to put a c tier the next we have is victory i'm gonna have to put that i'm about to put that c tier it's not bad but it's not the best um i will admit i probably have to listen to that one again there might be a few tracks that i've left out i know it's got all about the benjamin uh, all about the benjamins i know it's got victory um, so yeah, next album we have is Jay-Z Volume 2, or Volume 3 rather, or no, this is Volume 2, and I believe this is, what is it called? Volume 2 is called Hard Not Like, Hard Knock Life, um, and this has songs like, uh, Can I Get a, what else is on this album? Hard Knock Life. Um, Money Cash Hose, A Week Ago, Coming of Age, Ride or Die, It's Alright, Money in a Thing, Reservoir Dogs, Paper Chase. Yeah, this is a good album. This is probably one of Jay-Z's better volume albums. Excuse me. Out of the three volume albums that he has, this is probably my favorite Jay-Z volume album. Um, out of volume one, Volume 2 and Volume 3. This is definitely my favorite. So I'm going to put this B tier. Uh, next album we have. I'm just going to try to breeze through these. Because I don't know how much space I have on my laptop. So bear with me here. Next album we have is. What is this called? What is this called? What is this called? Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, DMX. Haven't listened to the full thing. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put it right here. I know it's got slipping. I know it's got. Uh. What else? What is this on that album? Uh, flesh in my flesh. Uh, slipping, no love for me, dogs for life, blackout, flesh in my flesh, blood in my blood, and bring for my crew. Yeah, I'm not gonna rank it just cause I haven't listened to the full thing. This I haven't listened to either. I don't recognize that. That I haven't listened to either. I don't recognize that album cover. Next album we have is Dr. Dre 2001. Good Dr. Dre album. Not his best project, but it is a good project. It's a classic Dr. Dre album. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. 
um, I have to go ahead and put this. I'll put a B tier. I'll put a B tier. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Mm. Next album we have is Volume 3. I don't really like Volume 3. I don't really like Volume 3. I'm sorry, Jay-Z fans. Uh, I, might even put it, I might even put a D. Nah, I won't do that. I won't do that. Uh, maybe. Uh, nah, I won't do it. I won't do it. It's not terrible. It's just not my favorite. Next time we got is MF Doom, Doomsday. That's definitely, that's definitely, 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 definitely B. Definitely B. And the reason why it's not A is because I feel like Doomsday just has a lot of skits and not filler tracks, but like intermissions and, and just a lot of breaks. Um, nothing wrong with that, but it's not like it's most complete album. Next song or next album we have is Missy. Self-titled album Missy by Missy Elliott. This song or this album has um the the song that Ski Mask the Slump got the Slump God sampled on Catch Me Outside. I forgot what that song is called. Excuse me while I look up the track list of this album. Uh The Real World. The Real World. That's what the album's called. Excuse me. We got Hot Boys. Um, she's a bitch. That's the song that Ski Master Slump God answered. Uh, I'm about to give this album C tier. It's not. I've only listened to the full length one time, so I can't really fairly rank it. So I'm about to give it C tier. Nothing lower, nothing higher. I'm gonna just put it smack dab in the middle. Next album is Nas. I am a good album, not his best album. Uh, not his worst album. That will be this guy right here, Nasodramus. That's probably his worst album. Not. I don't want to say it's Nas's worst album because I haven't listened to Nas all of Nas's albums, but it's not a good album. Nasodramus is not a good album. Nas, I am, however, is a solid album. It's a solid album. I'm about to go ahead and give it C. Uh, next album we have Lauren Hill. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. That's definitely S tier album. One of a kind album. Influential album. Outstanding album. Holds the test of time. Stands the test of time, rather. Um, holds up well to this day. No questions asked. No further explanation needed. S tier, 100%. Lethal Injection. Haven't listened to this album. Can't rank it fairly. Haven't listened to this album either. Can't fair that or can't rank that fairly. Can't rank this one either. I haven't listened to it. Next album is Mob Deep Murder Music. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a C. Not not a bad album, but it's not a very memorable album. Neither was this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a D. Nostradamus. I'm sorry, that's a D. Not a good album at all. There's there's not even like usually on a Nas album you can find a couple songs that you like but on Nostradamus I couldn't really find any songs that I liked. Maybe I'm just being a little too harsh. Maybe I just haven't listened to the album enough. But I don't know. From what I remember, Nostradamus wasn't that good, and that's just me being honest. Outcast, AT Aliens. I love this album. It's a ten out of ten album. Although I don't know if I could put it a. I don't know if I could put this album S tier. I'm going to do it anyway, because I just love Outkast. Outkast, AT Aliens, S tier. Outkast, Aquemini, best album that I've ever heard in my life. I will say that. It still stands true. There's nothing that I've heard yet to this day that beats this album. This is my favorite album. This is the best album that I've ever heard with my own two ears. Outkast, Aquemini, their third studio album. I mean, it's got songs like... I can literally name the whole track list. Hold On Be Strong, Return of the G, Rosa Parks, Skewed on the Barbie, Aquemini, uh, Synthesizer, um, uh, Slump, West Savannah, The Artist Storytelling Part 1, The Artist Storytelling Part 2, Mama Sita, uh, uh, They Scared, Spodioti Dipolicious, um, Nathaniel, Liberation, Chonky Fire. Like, I love this album. The fact that I can name it 1 through 16... That 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 tells you everything you need to know. Next album, the Fuji's the score. That is a A tier album, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Next album, 
Most Def, Black on Both Sides, A tier album, 100%, 100%. Black Star, I'm going to give that a B. I'm going to give that a B. Uh, next album, I haven't listened to this album, so I can't rank it fairly. Next album, The Roots, Things Come Apart. I'm going to give that a B, a solid B. Not a bad album at all. Next album we got is Raekwon, Only Built for Cuban Links, a classic hip-hop album. A very influential hip-hop album. Uh, an album that a lot of rappers today take influence from. This is probably like the This is probably like the 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 holy grail of gangsta music. Excuse me, let me let me erase that. Let me let me rephrase that. This is probably like the holy grail of mafioso rap. Uh only built for Cuban links. Great album, start from finish. This isn't even an album. This is a movie. This is literally a mob movie. That's how great this album is. The production on this album is amazing. I mean, it'll leave you speechless just listening to it. It's got songs like Striving for Striving for Perfection, Knuckleheads, in, Incarcerated Scarfaces, Ice Cream, uh, Spot Rushers, um, Heaven or Hell, uh, uh, so many great songs, so many great songs. I'm not going to sit up here and name every song, but S-tier album, S-tier album, 100% S-tier album. Uh, Liquid Swords, that is also an S-tier album, 100%, 100%, 100%, not even a question that. Uh, this, Far Side, I'm going to have to give that, I'm going to have to give that a C. It's not a bad album. But it's not a great album, in my opinion. Next album we have is Capital Punishment. I'm going to have to give that a A, A album. Next we have Pete Soul, Pete Soul, Pete Rock, <laughs> Pete Soul, Pete Rock and the Mecca, I believe, Return of the Mecca. I forget what this album, what is it called? Pete Rock and... I've listened to it before. I just don't know what it's... P and CL Smooth. That's what it is, right? No, not CL Smooth. Excuse me. Pete Rock and the Soul Brother. Mecca and the Soul Brother. That's what that album's called. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and give that a, C a B. That is a B. Next album we have is Muddy Waters by Redman. Haven't listened to this album yet. Can't rank it. Next album we have is... Uh, lamb. What's this? What's it called? Lamb something. Lamb or for lamb formication. What's it called? Far side. Uh, lab cabin, California. Lab cabin, California. I haven't listened to this album either, so I can't rank it. So. This is what we have. This is what my list looks like. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Again, I apologize for not being as knowledgeable with 90s hip hop as I thought I was. As you can clearly see, there's a lot of albums that I haven't listened to yet. Um, I need to take that time out personally to, li to listen to each one of these albums and to gain more knowledge, step my game up, you know, do my research. Um, but yeah, these are the albums that I have listened to. And that I do enjoy. And this is where I rank them. I feel like that's pretty solid. Uh, let me know what you would switch around. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if my music taste is good. Let me know if my music taste is trash. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's all for funs. It's all for shits and giggles. Um, and yeah, let me go ahead and save it. I don't know if that does anything. Oh, okay. I can download the image. Oh, let me do that. Let me do that. I'll do that off camera. Anyway. We've been here for a while. I know you got things you got to do. I got things I got to do. I'm going to go ahead and edit, edit this video. Get it straight uploaded to YouTube. And it should be live tomorrow. And yeah, that does it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you stuck around this long. Hopefully you were able to find enjoyment in this video. Um, and yeah, that does it for me. Please make sure to leave a comment. It could be an emoji, a timestamp, a letter, a number. It does not matter. It's for the algorithm. It would be greatly appreciated. 
And with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We're pushing. We're moving forward every day. We're elevating. And it feels good. And it feels good. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for watching my videos, leaving likes, leaving comments, leaving feedback. It means the world to me. It keeps me pushing. It gets me want to get on front of a camera and continue to post videos. It puts a battery in my back like none other. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to go ahead and get on with the rest of my night. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace, love, positivity. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Te amo. Cuídate. Ciao.